All right, hey everyone, today we will be understanding the strict mode in JavaScript, so let's begin with it. Strict mode helps out in a couple of ways. First of all, it catches some common coding bloopers by throwing exceptions and it also prevents or throws errors when relatively unsafe actions are taken such as gaining access to the global object. We'll deep dive into these in the next few minutes. So use strict is basically a way in which JavaScript code is run with more restrictions. The code will throw more errors, more exceptions than it normally does. So first, let me give you a very brief example what UStrict does. Now, if I try to run this, um, we can see the output over here is one. And the reason for that is when you do something like x equals one and you are not using any var or something like this, what happens is that uh, this particular x basically added as a property to the global object. Now in node, the global object is referred by global. If you are running JavaScript on Chrome, this would be window, okay? But right now I'm running on Node.js so that the so the global object is referred by global and that's why when I do something like x as one, the global dot x is reflected by the value of one. So um, if we if we try to run this in U strict mode, the U strict mode what it does is that it enables this JavaScript to be run in with more context with more restrictions. So because of that, what it does is that x is being assigned a value of one, but hey. You have not declared x and that's why it throws a reference error as we can see over here okay so this is what uh, the use state functionality in javascript does and why is it important a very short example is that let's say if you are writing some production code wherein you have something like and then when you try to basically log the value of fist cross it should be zero right but it won't be and let me just turn this off and show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, the value of his cross is still one. And the reason for that is the type over here. We are missing an S, okay? If you were using the strict mode of JavaScript over here, and if you had tried to run this, the developer would have caught the bug when he was compiling the code, okay? As you can see over here now, this is throwing the reference error because his cross is not defined. And we know that we don't have to define, but we want to make change to this variable and we correct it. So this was one very short example of, of course, in production, you will never see something like this, but I wanted to just convey how uStrict can be used. Let's see some of the usages of the uStrict mode. Uh, it also restricts the usage of reserved keywords as a variable. Now, let is another, uh, let is another reserved keyword in JavaScript. And now if you try to run this particular piece of code, it will work in normal JavaScript and the logged value would be 10 as you can see in the output but if we enable the use strict mode this will again not work and it will say that let is basically a reserved keyword and you can't use it okay let's see some other usages now sometimes it may happen that you are uh, working on a old code base of javascript and if you turn on the use strict mode the code never compiles and you don't want to basically fix that. Sometimes it also use, it, it's also useful that you enable the use strict mode in just a new function or probably in just a function. So what this does is that the JavaScript runs only this much part of the code as in the strict mode context and the rest of the code will be in normal. So now if I use strict mode in this function go and if I try to call it, it should throw an error and the reason for that is this particular var variable y it's not being declared and we are reusing it okay so this should throw an error and if you if you are in interviews and if someone asks you what would be the output of this it would not be anything because you will get an error right because it, it says reference error right let's dive in a bit more examples of the strict mode it also prevents accidental changes to global variables now for example let's say you have a global variable x as 3 and then you have a function sum what it does is it stores the value of a plus b in x and then returns it okay now if i try to run this the sum of 3 and 4 it should be 7 right so and this particular global variable x was 3 so we should get 7 and 3 now let's try to run this and see what's the output as expected it's 7 and 7 because the changes made in this function sum to this particular x it's being reflected in the global variables right and if you use strict mode this problem will get solved basically now if we go over here so basically we should use var so let's do this and now try to run this and as you can see now we are getting 7 and 3 guys 
Hey guys, one quick announcement. So Algo Expert is removing this 30% discount on all the coupons which are available. The 30% discount will be stepped down to 1515% from 1st of November. That is like two days from now. So if you do want to buy Algo Expert, I think this is the best time. So guys, I hope this video was short and, and give you a good idea about what strict mode in JavaScript means and how do we use it and what are the different types of things it brings on the table when we use it. One thing is that it's always a good practice to enable the strict mode in JavaScript when you're writing code, but it might also happen that the code that you're working on is very old and it's just a mess for you to migrate everything and make all those changes, basically making sure So if you are writing new code, it's always a good practice to use the strict mode. In the next video, we will be understanding what is the difference between where and let. So basically where versus let, what do they do and how are variable scores defined in JavaScript. I'll see you in the next one guys. Till then, bye-bye.